Good morning, party people. Welcome to the breakdown with Nate and Johnny. Someone, uh, sorry, Johnny, I'm just going to talk for you straight away here. Go. Someone messaged me the other day and said, um, "What are we wearing to good things?" And I was like, oh, "I'm playing in the outfit." And they're like, "You should wear a shirt that says I'm with you and have a, a arrow point to you." And I loved that idea. But then I was like, but "Then what if someone else stands on that side of me at one point? I don't want to insult people." Yeah, that's true. I should have said, oh, I'm with you. Just, yeah, just we'll, we'll brackets, be together all Jordan's day. Idiot. So just. You can only stand here. <laughs> <laughs> just walking through. We're so going like, to be together Johnny, all day. So hi. just say, I'm with the idiot. And yeah. they'll be like, oh, he's with the idiot. Yeah, it doesn't even say, there's no arrow. It just yeah. says, I'm with the idiot. Yeah. 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 Anyway. And that's... then I'll just run away and leave you standing with McGee all day. <laughs> McGee's just like, oh. Anyway. He's better footage, though. Today we're checking out the. Well, it's not a new song. But it's off the last album. This is Asking Alexandria, See What's on the Inside. This is um, off the deluxe issue of See What's on the Inside. Okay. Yeah. Cool. We like Asking Alexandria. I am personally a fan of the direction that they've taken, especially on this last album. In saying that, I only listened to it twice. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm I really not listen yeah, to it. Yeah, I really liked it. And for some reason, I, okay, so that was around the time when, like, uh, like Wage War dropped and uh, something else had dropped and it was around the time when I was writing a lot and... What were you writing? What? <laughs> Just nothing I was writing a bike. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you got? It's not a joke. I just asked okay, yeah. Because you said you was writing. I didn't know what you were referring to. Oh, did you think I meant writing? I didn't know what you were talking about. That's okay. why I asked I was what you were riding. Riding. Riding, yeah. A bicycle. A, tri- uh, a tricycle. Yes, <laughs> with training wheels. Yeah. Uh, and so, like, there was a couple of albums that became my, my cycling albums, and I think that's why I forgot about this one a little bit. Because you can't ride a bike when you listen to Arsene Hills, Andrew. No. <laughs> that's, that's the rule. You guys know it. If you got a bike, don't listen to Asking Alexandria. Can we just listen to the song, man? Uh, thanks for sticking around. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. Bo, 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 bo. I want to uh, ride Between the Buried and Me did a fantastic cover of that song, if you've never heard it. Go and check it out, because they did it fantastically. Uh, but anyway, we're here to check out Asking Alexandria. Like, subscribe. Like. All that sort of stuff. Follow the socials, listen to Spotify playlists. Official link will be down below. Prove it. A little lower. How does that feel, baby? That is quite funny, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you may also notice we stopped saying better noise music because better noise music never unblocks our videos. So yeah. we're no longer giving them the sweet intros we used yeah, to. Yeah, you guys missed out on this gold introduction. I was even going to do it for you on all your videos, but... show 15, 16 year old asking Alexandra this clip and be like, this is going to be you guys. You're so different. Yeah, Because they for are sure. such a different band. Yeah. Also, Danny has a thick neck. I'd yeah, like it's, like, it's got, that. yeah, all those dudes with those thick, chunky tree necks are like... So massive vocally. Yeah, yeah. Corey Taylor, this yeah. guy, like... Yeah. Give me another one. All those guys, God he says, he knows one other. Oh, no, like, even, like, 
that dude from like Five Finger Death Punch, even though I don't really love the band, he's got a chunky neck and he has a big voice. Can't visualize um, his neck. Like Howard from Killswitch. Yay. Thick neck. Thick neck. Thick neck. Thick neck. I've always tried to be what you needed from me. Along the way, you forgot who I am. I'm sorry for getting cold, for pushing you away. It just feels like I'm falling and nobody's there. But there's a part of me that knows, that belongs to the road, and begs me to rise. To run away from the world, to leave it all behind, to strip it away and see what's on the inside. So I'm facing my fears. Stop the break, boy. arrangement that song isn't it mm. like with the strings and the backing vocals and three guitars yeah it, it, there's a lot going on to it it's really epic like it it has that and i can understand why people don't um don't really you know vibe with their new style because it is much more of a classic rock vibe you, if you came just and wanted just to hear stand up and scream again. stand up and scream yeah yeah like i get it but for me as someone who grew up on you know, like I've said many times before, like Kiss and Motley Crue and Skid Row and Guns N' Roses and stuff. That, that for me... Yeah, but what about when you were young? Uh, it was uh, people banging sticks on trees. <laughs> <laughs> Tribal drums. Um, yeah, look, it, it, for someone who loves that sort of music, to me, it's refreshing to hear someone do an old style with a modern spin, but do it so well. He's got the voice for it. They've got the chops for it. It doesn't sound forced. It doesn't sound like they're trying to be someone else. They just do it really well. And it's just a really nice song. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Yeah, they... He, his vocals are insane. So good. We have said that many times before, but I feel like the band itself has also grown and, and progressed so, so well as instrumentalists as well. Mm. Um, and that might get overlooked because it does seem as a bit more... Simplistic, Simplistic. Even yeah, though it's yeah, not yeah. at all. It's way more. It's like we talked about with Winston from Parkway. They come out and release Darker Still, and it was like, oh, they're sold out and just some basic bitch. Being like, yeah, but it's actually so much more complicated and much more like, yeah, it's impressive. It's not easy to write massive choruses. It's not easy to write hooks 
that stick in people's heads while simplifying the music. Yeah. You know, like that's, it's like, like when we're chatting to Sam and he said, what do you think? I just plucked that chorus out of fucking thin air. You know what I mean? Like this sort of stuff really takes a high level musician to be able to craft a memorable vocal line that sits with the music. And the thing with that sort of song is it has to line up sonically and more importantly, emotionally because otherwise it just doesn't have the impact. Yeah. If you didn't feel what he was like singing in that chorus and the, the chord progression wasn't perfectly suited for it, it's just not going to have the impact and it's going to be, it'd be why, you know, there's a million rock bands that want to sound like this that never get heard because it's just, you just don't have it sort of thing. You just don't have it, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, as we said, that is off See What's On The Inside, the deluxe, which is out now is it out now uh, it will be by the time you guys see this video um so that's something you should go check out if you haven't listened to it because this album was a lot more down that track of just kind of epic rock and roll for the most part which we really liked but let us know your thoughts Comment yeah below. i'm gonna um i'm gonna give that album a listen on my way to work again he's not riding a bike don't worry guys <laughs> god no it would take me a day to ride to sydney Oof. Thank you so long. <sighs> imagine you in the freeway imagine you little... trying to training wheels bouncing along <laughs> i put the like the card in the spokes so oh, it sounds like yeah, a motorbike yeah <laughs> did you used to do that when you were a kid no that's no? cool okay <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next oh, time that's cool i'm not anymore i was though <laughs> yeah. back there four-year-old me